Why hello fam bam, it's Cece, super glammed up and here to show you how I got this look. So today I'm wearing a new wig. This one is by Wigs by Dwetcom. Sorry I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm just loving the way I'm looking right now. Like. So cute. Feels so Jessica Rabbit even though this hair is not red, but it's just glamorous. Honestly, this color to me is so Betty Basic because it's a really weird ash brown dark blonde color, which is strange and I usually go for those colors that are like pow in your face, you know what I'm saying? But I'm loving it. I think that this wig is 22 inches, about $300, I think. 100% human hair. Let me just show you the inside of it real quick before we get into the get ready with me. Instant we're Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I just have such a different look without wigs. It is insane. It's like, who's that bitch? Not mad at my own hair either though right now. It's kind of messy in a good way. Oh, I'm feeling myself too like this. Uh. All right, this is the inside of the wig. This one comes with no clips sewn in. You can sew them in yourself. They do send you about like four or five clips inside the box. Here is the texture. It comes curled. It was already curled like this. I'm gonna put some footage in right now. I have no makeup on in this footage. I look fucking crazy. Just hold your horses, okay? Look at the hair, don't look at my face. All right, but I did help it out a little bit with a straight iron. I flattened it down to about here. As you'll see, we put some concealer in here. You're gonna see that in a minute. And I also cut some layers into it around the front around my face because it just made it look more natural, less wiggy, uh, more like real hair. All right, fam bam, so I'm gonna start this get ready with me. So they sent me this so that I can test it out for you guys and show you what it looks like. Very lightweight, but it's a decent amount of hair. Like that's pretty thick for a wig. It actually does not really look like the photo that is on the website and I did reach out to the company and told them, you know, this is a problem that your pictures are real hair. These celebrities, that's the picture. So I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to show like the wig looks like this celebrity's hair and it's modeled after this hairstyle. However, I like to see the actual stock photos of the wig on a website. They did say that they are working on that, but it looks really pretty. I'm gonna put some concealer in here right now. Just take an angled brush with some concealer. I am going to put that in the hairline. So you wanna to try to make it come all the way down to your forehead. So it looks like it connects to your actual scalp. First things first, I'm gonna prime. I'm using my Jouer Anti-Aging Moisture Primer. Now, the main thing I've been doing that's different than usual is I've been color correcting. This can be really cheap and inexpensive. I use the Pro LA Girl Pro Concealers. They also make an orange one. I accidentally gave that one to my aunt, so I've been using this orange one for now. What you wanna do is color correct your skin before you put on the foundation. What does that mean? Well, when you learn color correcting, you know, art class and school, you'll learn what the complementary colors are. Essentially, what you're doing is you're using complementary colors to cancel each other out to create a neutral base before you put on your foundation. And then that way your foundation looks a lot more even. This is also why guys or drag queens put the orange around here to hide that five o'clock shadow. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my green and cover up any redness that I have. I just dab a tiny bit on there and then dab with my finger. Some redness on my cheeks. I have a red mark on my nose. Oh my God, I'm getting a zit on my nose. Great. You don't wanna put a ton of the green. You just want enough to barely go over the red spots. So if you don't have a beauty blender, this is the time to get one because you don't want to be rubbing off the color correction that we just did. Been mixing on this little acrylic palette some of the LA Gear Pro Coverage Foundation. All this LA Gear stuff is hella cheap. And then I've been mixing it with a little bit of the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. I find that this is too cakey if you use it by yourself. Girl, it's like a cake house. However, it is so stunning when you mix it with this. Photographs beautifully, like stunning. My face has never looked so pretty. This foundation is bomb as fuck. Here we have our concoction. I'ma swirl it all around, like a little painter's palette. So you wanna dab, but you do not want to swipe, okay? You're gonna swipe off all of the concealer we put on underneath. Dab, 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 dab. It was cheesy, I know, sorry. Just need to put this behind my ear for a second. I know you can see my side burn. Always go down your jawline into your neck. 
I just wanted to say thank you guys to everybody who watched my last video about falling in love with a fuckboy. <laughs> yeah, and if you haven't watched it, you probably should because chances are you've done the same thing. There were so many stories from you guys telling me how you're in the same situation and you know, you've dealt with this type of guy who can't commit after years. And it's so bizarre because it's kind of like this guy in a way is committing by sticking around for years and years, but they're not giving you what you want it's like they're rebelling or something it's so it's so weird but the fact that there's that many stories of all you guys dealing with the same thing is really fucking depressing and sad like what why are there so many guys out there that react the same way I don't get it the more you pull away the more they come to you so there's that shape tape by Tarte it's got a fuzzball on there hell no nah. so I just put it on like this here 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 here. I take my yellow concealer and I add that on top. This yellow concealer is really, really light. And when I say light, I mean that it's thin. Like it's super thin. It kind of just like melts into whatever concealer you are using. It's not gonna add coverage, only color. And then lightly pat it in there. So anyway, the dynamic between men and women is just so fucking crazy because we all have these issues and it's like these similar problems that keep arising over and over and over over again. Women needing to be constantly reassured with lots of text messages, lots of attention, and the men just always feeling like their freedom is being taken away from them when they commit. All right, the Laura Mercier translucent powder in there with your wet beauty blender. This is the best trick ever of life. It really melts the powder into your skin to the point where you don't even need to brush it off. Then I go in with my Makeup Forever loose setting powder and I'm dusting it everywhere all over me. Just dusting the boobs. <laughs> now I'm gonna go into my Colky palette. It's supposed to be like the shade and light palette. Kat Von D. Mostly what I do is I just mix these three colors together. It's really powdery, you guys, just so you know. I'll show you this. I just <laughs> I'm looking in the viewfinder. My shade is not set up for makeup tutorials, you guys. And then the most important part, the cleavage. <laughs> It's not the most important part. But if you do have a low cut shirt, then I would suggest putting a little bit in your clevage. Clevage. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Okay, so I have this brush. This is by Veramona, and I will take the ashiest looking lightest brown color and start contouring my nose. I might make an entire video just on how to do this because a lot of you guys were asking me. Um, it literally looks like I have a nose job when I do my nose contour, as you will see in one second. Sometimes this takes forever when I'm doing my makeup. Other times it goes by quickly. This part is the most important part. And then I go in with the skinny side and I really carve it out. Then I go back in the fluffy side and kind of blend this a little bit better. And I also do under my lip, make my lipstick out. And then depending on how harsh that line is, sometimes I'll go back over it with my beauty blender just to blend it all together, which it does really help. So sometimes go back into the palette and just on the tip, just the tip. <laughs> Go down the center of my nose with that shit. And right on the tip and just kind of blend it in there. Sometimes for some added zhuzh, I'll take a fluffy brush like this, put a little bit on there, and right in here add a little bit of that yellow powder. I think you can see on camera what a difference that looks from this side. So we're gonna do this side too. And then I dust a little bit of it on the eyelids as well. And here, and here, and here. <laughs> Just whatever's left on the brush. I hope it looks in the camera like my face is matching my body. I'm not sure. It's a crapshoot sometimes. Let's add some blush. My favorite blush of all time is still the Illamasqua in the bright orange color. This one is called Excite. And you literally just dab it and it's enough color for both your cheeks. It's fucking crazy. This shit is amazing. I dust it on my eyelids too. And then my tried and true Becca's Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. Sorry guys, but this shit's amazing. I know there's a lot of drama with Jaclyn Hill right now, but this product stands up. You cannot tell me that is not amazing. This shit's so good. Definitely gonna have to get another one. I'm gonna just take a little bit on my nose too. Okay, now before I do anything with eyes, I like to take my Kat Von D setting spray and just melt all this shit together. Just 
I do this before the eyes because if I have liquid eyeliner on, it literally melts the liquid eyeliner. I'm actually really loving this hair now. It looks so natural and cute. Okay, I'm gonna test out this Strictly Vinyl NYX liquid eyeliner because I have not tried to wear this as a liner. So let's just see what it looks like, shall we? I just wanna put a little something something on my lids. So with the Lime Crime Venus palette, this is my favorite color right here. It's called Shell. And I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that all over the lid just to give it a little something. I love this color. And then a touch of Aura right here and a tiny bit of it also right under the highest part of the brow. And that is like the quickest eye ever of life. So simple. Now I'm gonna try this liner. Is this the ugliest color on earth or is it dope? I don't know. Okay, it's kind of like a very watery consistency. Actually a lot brighter than I thought. Yeah. Kind of like it. Maybe we could do a lip that matches. Oh, that would be cool. So what do you guys think about all this crazy like drama in the beauty community? <laughs> I stay away. <laughs> this is the NYX mascara for my brows. Close to being done, I'm just gonna put some mascara on. Now I'm just using this random Maybelline mascara, which I feel neither here nor there about. Not my favorite, but also not bad. Bottom lashes are essential. You do not wanna have top lashes with no bottom lashes, guys. It looks fucking weird. <laughs> You have to balance out your eye. So take the time to do those little baby lashes on the bottom. Oh God, I just got so much mascara. It's fine, don't panic. Oh, bitch, I got you, bitch. What in the hell lashes are these? Why don't I just put on a new pair? Let's fuck it up. Let's do this. Velour lashes. They're mink in the, sh it's not a shade. <laughs> what are they called? Bitch, what are they called? Dark side. I find it easier to put them on with tweezers. Very pretty. Normally I put mascara on my falsies to like blend them in with my natural lash, but I don't even think I'm gonna do that today. I think it looks good. Fluffy lashes look awesome. So I have like this whole drawer of lip liners and I just, it just feels like I never have enough lip liners. And this is by NYX Auburn. Lily, you okay? It sounds like there's a gremlin or a pig in my house. Lily, you okay? What, sweetie? What's up? Okay. You wanna give me a kiss? Thank you. Mommy's doing makeup. She's such a camera hog. All right, and this color is called Del Rio by Mac. Look at that, almost a fucking perfect match, eh? Mmm, yes. Hells yes. You see how it matches that right in here? Fire, bitch! Let's do some beauty shots. This is a good look, yo. This is cute, though. This is not my usual, like, thing. This should be glued down, but, you know, my lazy ass. It's not happening. Oh wait, we need some shine on the Tatas. Little Jeffree Star, shine up those babies. All right, that's better. Now you can see my Tatas better. Loving this super glam get ready with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.